What is going on, X Community? Exostomp here. And today, people, we're going to be doing the Aeron Pickums for week number six. And of course, joining me is going to be Galaxy Bomb. Hello, everyone. We're almost done. Almost through it all. Yeah, this is, this is very exciting. Um, I do want to start off by saying if you guys were thinking about doing trades, this week is going to be the last week uh, to do trades. We're going to be closing those out uh after this week so if you're thinking about one even if it's like terra captain changes or what have you make sure that you do those now <laughs> pretty much mm -hmm. uh but yeah so uh what happened is so we both locked and <laughs> thankfully uh I, I definitely got the win over there yeah unfortunate uh but uh, honestly i feel like this um this league, I've, I've gotten pretty good predictions. I'm not too far behind, so I'm feeling pretty happy with it all. Yeah, it's definitely possible for you to come back, especially like the the biggest things are the, are the locks. If you can like guarantee your lock, I think you're okay. Yeah. All right, let's go on to the first game here. We have Nuke Bomb versus Shaman Master. Okay, so this is gonna be a pretty interesting matchup. Um, so from what I can see, um, they're pretty, I think Nuke Bomb has actually gotten a pretty respectable record. I think he's only lost his, the first week, um, and otherwise has taken every other week as a victory. Mm -hmm. Um, on the other side, Shimon has lost two games, first week and the third week, but both of them have pretty respectable, uh, records, so this... Uh, depending on how this match goes, it might actually be a pretty significant determination on if they make uh, playoffs. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I think, yeah, this is first and second position. Um, and you, you always want to be first position because you're going to be versing the fourth position if you are first uh, for uh, the Steel Division. So uh, you want to be first because if you're second, you're going to verse the third place one. And honestly, third place is usually very close to second. So, yeah. yeah. But uh, let's look at the lineup here. Uh, so the immediate thing I see is um, Tinkaton doing pretty well here, I feel like. Um, there is always the threat of like the um, Hisui and uh, Typhlosion, but they're, they do have a couple of decent steel resists, but I guess it kind of depends here and there. What do you think about uh, Tikaton in this matchup? Tikaton looks very nice. Uh, the th switch in would probably be Preserker, um, but honestly, uh, I guess it doesn't look bad here, Berserker. Um, and like, besides that, to switch into a Gigaton Hammer, you have stuff like Tauros, but that gets hit with Play Rough, so, uh, yeah, Tinkaton does look very good here. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think of, like, what is significant. I mean, Noivern, obviously, is something you always have to look out for, uh, when you're going up against it. And, of course... Komala is terrifying as always. Um, the one other thing I notice is... Um, why can't I? Uh, Shimon's team has a lot more rapid spin support than um, Nuke Bombs. Uh, and Shimon's team actually has quite a lot of Hazard Setters. So I wonder if there's going to be like a bit of a Hazard Battle this game. Or if it will be more aggressive. Um... Honestly, it yeah, it's kind of a toss up, but I think it might be more offensive this game, like mm -hmm. in general, because uh, Typhlosion looks very nice here. Um, it's both of its stabs are really nice. Uh, Cycles Art does exist, yes, but it does have Focus Blast, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, mm -hmm. So Typhlosion looks really nice. The only thing would be like Spadef Moltres. Um, mm -hmm wag but again if it's not specially defensive it's gonna have a tough time um uh for nuke bombs team let's look let me look at decidui decidui 
just spams. Okay, it, it spams uh, CC. Uh, the biggest thing would be Noivern, which uh, you definitely don't want to Terra Normal this game, because then you will have pretty much no switching to a yeah. hey, close combat. Uh, Vespaquin exists, but gotta make sure Decidueye has rock, rock Tomb, so that could do a lot of damage here. Mm -hmm. Um, I think... I think overall, if I were to, to look between these teams and see which one I would prefer, I feel like I want to give it to Nuke Bomb's team. Ah, uh, actually, maybe not. Maybe I do want to give it to Shimon. It's really close. I feel like this is going to be a really close game. Mm -hmm. No, what you choose. Ah, oh, man. All right. Well... This is tough. Uh, there's there's no obvious thing like, oh, this just kills everything. Yeah. Uh, but I've been pretty confident with Nuke Bomb here, so I, I have to go with Nuke Bomb. And whoops, sorry guys, that was my notepad that I typed stuff in. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Nuke Bomb, and I'm gonna go with a. I'll go with a two O. Okay, Nuke Bomb 2-0. Um, I'm also going to give it to Nuke Bomb, but I'm going to give them a 4-0 victory. Oh, wow, okay. Why are you so confident? Um, well, again, I kind of agree with the idea that it's going to be a pretty fast-paced game. I think um, there, the way that the game's going to go is... Uh, there's going to be like a bit of a trade back and forth, but they'll get into a position to just sweep with the rest. Okay, fair. Alright, and let's get on to the next one here, which is Blue versus Davy. Ooh, this is going to be nice. Alright. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Blue versus Davy. So unfortunately, we have not gotten the chance to see Blue's... Um, Team composition and skills as i do not believe they have played against ninja this week yet um so that is still up for um viewing to see just how they compete against the rest of aaron so davy is gonna have to put in work to, <laughs> to show uh if they um if they're worthy of the aaron here you know yeah yeah for but, sure but um yeah so in terms of this lineup it's gonna be pretty interesting um, you have two very strong water types uh, again, pitted against each other, pretty much. I feel like Cloyster is the stronger of the two. I don't think you would disagree there. I, I would actually disagree here. Really? Okay. Uh, Cloyster gets walled, hard walled by like, stuff like Bronzong. It gets pretty walled by Gastrodon, but obviously Bronzong is better. Um, and does it get walled by bronzong though if it goes like mixed uh yeah because bronzong has good bulk in both so even like you'd have to be at plus four to like probably kill the hydro bump but even then bronzong doesn't need to go defensive because the only thing closer can do is kill it with uh but sp like special attack right because mm. what is it gonna do rock blast and icicle it's not gonna do enough so um bronzong's just a hard counter here while uh samurai Samurai can just spam dark, uh, dark plus water move, and there's not a ton that Davy can do here. Yeah, I can, I could definitely see that actually. Plus the fact that um, your dark type's so strong, it makes uh, Klefki a little bit less effective um, since it's prankster. Mm -hmm. um, actually, okay, this is a weird question. Uh, would like light screen reflect work if Samurai's out or no? Yeah, so it only dark only blocks stuff that prankster uses on the other Pokemon, like taunt, okay. like encore, stuff like that. Okay, but I mean, it means if Samurai goes like, can Samurai learn Sword Stance? I would assume so. Yeah, I would assume so. Um, so if if Samurai goes for some kind of Sword Stance set, you can't really taunt it or anything. So that's good to note. Or um, encore it. That would be the better option, probably. Well. Actually, Klefki doesn't learn Encore or or Taunt. Really? Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Huh. 
or maybe it lost it because it doesn't have defog either anymore. It's kind of sad, but interesting. Okay, fair enough. Um, hmm, that makes me think that Davy might have to play a more kind of defensive lineup with like Fortress and Toad Scroll and kind of slowly um, chip away at Blue's team, playing it safe because you can't really just like go hard in with Cloyster. You have to make sure that things are weak enough that it can kind of punch through them. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, I I definitely see what you're saying. I'm just trying to think of what the differential would be. Actually, I still, I still think Davy could take this. So I do think I'm going to give Davy a 2-0 victory here. Okay. But I do think it's another close game. Yeah, uh... I can definitely see what you're saying. Uh, plus, we haven't seen if Blue... Uh, and pilot the team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, they can... Uh, you know, the, the build itself technically was swapped around. But mm -hmm. the I think this team looks pretty good. So um, the thing is, it's it's tough too because Bronzong legit just needs to come as a spadef wall. And it blocks Cloyster. It blocks Braviary. Uh, for the most part, I mean, overheat, but you can go heatproof in this game. Uh, for... Yeah, there's not too many strong grounds moves. I mean, obviously, Toad Scroll has, like, some pretty powerful hits, but most of the time, Toad Scroll's going uh, defensive, so... Yeah, and then Altaria can come into both the moves as well from Toad Scroll. Um, yeah, I, I have to go with Blue. I know we haven't seen much yet from them, but you know what? Uh, I'm hoping that they can show us show us some skills here. So I'm gonna go with a. You know what? You went to a, I'll go four zero because you went four zero last time. So we'll like swap okay, around. Okay, all right. All right. And this next game, we got Harris versus Ninja. All right. Um. So. I mean, you know, Ninja's team is always the the one that we think of as. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not if they will lose. It's how much they will lose. Oh no, my god! Just, I know that's very mean to say, but it's. I'm just speaking objectively, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and given that, I feel like it's kind of no surprise that I'm going to give Harris a six-zero victory here. Oh my god. Uh, because I, you just, you just go to Hatterene and kill things, like, and even if Hatterene doesn't work, you just, like, choice specs Rotom and kill things. And even if that doesn't, like, you can literally just choice your whole team, and I don't think... I don't think <sighs> yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Ninja watches this, because, like, legit, if you want help fixing your team... This this is the last week to do it. I'm around. Um, you have a lot of points. You have terrors to work with. You you're missing a lot of big typings, including a ground. Please help us help you. Yes. Um, yeah. I I kind of agree with the six zero, but I kind of also think Ninja's gonna get at least one. So I'm gonna go with the five zero. Okay. Should I? <laughs> no. No no no. We're, we're not gonna lock on. <laughs> okay. I need the point. Keep it nice, though. Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we got Seabass versus Jamesy now. Okay. Um. Oh wait, hold on. F first things first. Seabass. I'm hoping set of the week goes up before this, but you, your love disc deserves set of the week. Uh, it got three kills this week. Hell yeah. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. See, I told you that thing's good. <laughs> No, uh, but um, Seabass has a respectable record. Uh, they're definitely having a, a pretty decent season. Um, and then Jamesy, I believe. Let me just double check these stats. Uh, Jamesy, Jamesy's struggling a little bit. They've only won one game so far. Um, so it's interesting. It'll be interesting to see if they're going to be able to pull it back against this matchup. But I feel like. Seabass's team is really hard to go up against when you're not uh, having, like, your composition might not be super effective. 
And I feel like that might be what happens here. I think I think CBS's team is just really solid against James E's matchup. Hmm. Because um, obviously, you know, you have some pretty solid uh, hitters like Gardevoir can be uh, pretty versatile. Inteleon has a lot of damage behind it. And uh, Appleton and Mulk, Muck are both really tanky. But what do you do against just Gallade and Meloetta? Just that, that dynamic duo of, of offense is just absolutely insane. And they have really, they're, they're really bulky, even when they, they don't go super, like, defensive. But their special defense is just off the chain. Uh, so I don't even know how effective Gardevoir is going to be here. Um, and then you have a lot of really good supporting mons uh, with everything else. I don't know. I just feel like Seabass kind of has this one. Um, hmm. I don't know. I I think I'm, I'm kind of the opposite here, actually. Really? Uh, I think Gardevoir being able to kind of click psychic moves um although obviously like meloetta can come in but uh i, don't know, I can kind of see like a knight uh, a terra knight gallade with like knight slash and knock off or something um or it's... knight i mean dark what am i talking about yeah knight 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 type <laughs> yeah. uh honestly i I, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I think it, it maybe it's like maybe I, I don't know. I, I'm just kind of hoping Jamesy can can beat a Gallade team because this it's kind of crazy. What, but what are, you, what are you trying to say? Ah, uh, no, no. Uh, hmm. Um. All right. Well, I'm kind of the opposite. I, I also think that like uh, a little muck can do pretty well here uh, with knockoff. Yeah, so okay. it's not off right? I'm not crazy. I think it's not off. I don't know. Mock, please tell me if not knock off. Let me check. Okay, so it's knock off. Yeah, with knock off, I think knock off is insane in this game because especially if you knock off the the ticket of violet, you're you could just kind of and also the Meloetta's, you know AV if it has it or whatever it is. Uh, you can just spam Psychics or Psyshocks with Gardevoir, and there's not a ton that wants to come in and, and take a Specs or even just a Scarf uh, Psychic. Fair. Knockoff is definitely very effective. You could even maybe even run Knockoff on Gardevoir if you want to be spicy. True. Uh, still has that. Too. Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, so. does it? I believe so. Oh, it does. That's Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, okay. So that's definitely something to keep in mind as you go forward. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely see what you're saying, but I am going to give it to Seabass. I'm going to say 3-0 Seabass. I think I am going to lock on this one. I do feel very confident in Seabass's composition. Okay. That's fair. Uh, I'm going to go with Jamesy. And I'm gonna go with a. Hmm. I think it's gonna be decently close. I'll go. I'll go. Hmm, I'll go one off. Okay. All right. And the next team we have is, or sorry, the next lineup is gonna be Lucky versus Sir Swordfish. Okay, so Lucky versus Sore Swordfish. This is going to be interesting. So the main thing I see, um, just looking at it, is what is Swordfish's answer to Zorark? Um, which you have a, a couple of options, but I feel like Lucky's team is pretty good at uh, disguising the Zorark and getting in like a free hit. Um, mm -hmm. Especially if the other team doesn't have a lot of hazards to compensate. Uh, I'm just trying to look at what hazards Swordfish has. He has a lot. He does have a lot, which is one of the reasons why I feel like Swordfish has a, a, a pretty good um, match to this game. I feel like if you can get up a good amount of hazards, it's really hard for Lucky's um, kind of main mons, Zorak, to... Um, and uh, take that free tempo. Now, Slowbro is a really solid mon, and the fact that it can eat the Toxic Spites does help that a lot. 
So I'm not sure. I feel like it could go either way, depending on circumstances. Hmm. I can't, yeah, I kind of like Swordfish's team here a little more. Uh, like you mentioned, hazards are nice, but also uh, Ursa Ring with the Violet can just tank Zoroark for days for the most part. Um, it also, uh, let me see. Yeah, it's, it's honestly also pretty threatening as well because uh, all it needs is a ghost move or dark, but yeah, dark works as well, like a crunch, and then body slam or some kind of normal move and it it just it kind of wrecks house here yeah i actually don't see too much of an answer like can, how well can bronzong tank uh ursa ring eat, like through a crunch i feel like it, it has to get like two shot right uh well if it's a violet and it's tanky it could probably take more than two mm. um for uh, you know, our string, but uh, if it's offensive, which I guess isn't bad either here, like facade just guts offensive, mm. um, it could, yeah, it probably gets two shot with guts, yeah. So I think Swordfish has this one, right? Gotta say, um, yeah, I'm gonna give Swordfish a 2 0 victory, I think. 2 0 victory, all right. Put that in. Um. Yeah, you know what? That's that's fair. That's very fair. Uh. I'm gonna go with. I'm just gonna. I want to go swordfish as well, but. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with Swordfish as well. I'm gonna go with a. I'll go with a 3 0. Okay. It's respectable. Alright, this next game, which is probably the most hyped game for this week, it's gonna be Shinrai versus Board, the two top steel players. Oh boy. So. Board currently is sitting on a respectable. I think it's. Four wins? Or Yeah, I so believe they, so. Yeah, one, they're both two, four. Three, four. Yeah, yeah, four. Yeah, they're both at four. Um I actually don't know their full differential, but when board lost, board lost uh 5 0 and then Shinra lost only a 1-0. Um so this is gonna be really interesting because their general strategies, um are gonna kind of compete head to head here, and I don't actually know which one's gonna come out on top. Like I, I think in terms of composition, it's it's pretty even. I don't see any clear mons that just like stomp all over the other person's teams. And, and you're free to correct me on that if I am missing something. Um, I mean, I kind of, I do need to bring up. Uh, Del Fox, because Del Fox is pretty amazing on, on Shinrai's team. The only thing that really wants, or I guess can take a hit, would be like an AV Muck. Um, but besides that, like if it gets weakened enough, Del Fox can just uh, nasty plot if, and then just spam. What if Del Fox goes um, like some kind of consumable item so it steals Muck's AV? Um, yeah, it's definitely possible. Uh, if Delphox, you know, power herbs, solar beams into, like, a Tauros or, or like, a Santa just to... Well, no, because then it would take their item. I, I don't think it's or needed just... on Delphox, honestly. I think all you need yeah. to do is is weaken it, because uh, there are I a just... lot of hazards on Shinrai's team. Mind sure. I just really want to see, like, a really spicy magician play. I feel like if you if you pick Delphox... And you don't like try to go something like super spicy with with magician, or you're gonna, you're like wasting the potential. To be fair, I I <sighs> okay, magician is amazing in theory. Like you can yeah. use uh, 
a, a Cobra Berry to live a knockoff, and then you steal their item. But, like, the thing is... But practically, how often is that, like, specific circumstance going to come up? Yeah. Compared to just using something solid. Yeah, and also... Let's say you use up your Magician, uh, and then you steal, like... I don't know, their band. Your choice <laughs> band. Oh, great! Now I'm just stuck with the choice band. Yeah. So... Or you steal an AV when you're trying to set up like nasty plot or something. Yeah, yeah. So it it's hard to use, but honestly, I mean, I can see it. Mm -hmm. Um, man, who 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 <laughs> who do you choose here? <laughs> uh, it I sounds will. like you're moving towards Shinrai. I want to, but I don't know. It's so it's so tough. Well. I think I will, uh, I'll give the vote of confidence to Shinrai. Okay. Um, you know, a little bit of Gallade favoritism. I think Noivern's really solid. Uh, and you convinced me on Delphox. So, yeah, I think I'll give Shinrai a 1-0 victory. I think this is gonna be down to the wire. Okay. Uh... Man, I wish I didn't mention the Delphox now. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um... Bordy, bordy, bordy. Can you pull this one off? I could see it. I could, you know what? No, mm, well. God, there's so much pressure on Muck because it, also, it has to come in into like Noivern as well. Yeah. I mean, I guess Tinkathon's like, there, but. Board doesn't have a huge amount of special defensive. Like you would need like AV Serena. Guard Ward would probably have to be bulky. Um, like you're you're losing out on potential of, of certain other mons if you're trying to take all those hits. You know what? This is fun, cause I'm I'm okay. You know what? I'm backing up board here. I believe board's gonna do this. Oh. Uh, you want one? I'll go one as well. All right. All right. Moving on to the next one, we have Jackson H versus Mello. All right. Um. So this is interesting. I'm trying to think on like na how Knackle Stack fares up against this matchup because I yep. feel like it's pretty good. Obviously, you know, there's no ghost spawns or anything to worry about, but you do have like. Klefki, for instance, and, and some other steals that, uh... Oh, wait, no, Sandy Shots don't steal. What am I talking about? It looks like a steal. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like Mellow's team is pretty good here. It's got a lot of options that it's kind of not possible for Jackson to plan around all of them. And that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. Okay. Um, I I could, I could even see like, Haunter or Honchkrow coming this matchup, you know? Uh, yeah, I I kind of, yeah, I can see that as well. Um, the only thing that really wants to switch into a Shadow Ball would be Mabostiff, but, uh, you know, Haunter has Focus Blast. It it has obviously like Sludge Bomb, and Sludge Wave, and stuff like that. So. You know, it's it's not the safest play to go into one of your offensive mons on a Haunter, so... Yeah, I, I could see that as well. Huh? Mm. This is a tough call. I'm gonna say it's not tough for me. Oh, I, you think so? I, listen, Cloyster Bros need to stay strong, okay? Fair enough. I, 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 can't, I can't bet against Jackson, um... You know, he's got Terra Cloister, uh, he's got the Clef Key, you know, I did drop Masquerade, so it's not the same anymore, but you know, it, Cloister, Terra, I gotta stick with them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Jackson. You know what? I'm throwing it in. I'm going 6-0 and I'm locking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll go with Mellow. I'll say 3-0. Okay. 
Well, that's a really mellow uh, guess there. Moving on. Oh, okay. Anyway, so the next one we have, which is the last one, it's gonna be Toflug versus E Girl. It sounds like I'm trying to say E Girl, but no, it's, right, it's, it's so E Girl's okay. been, you know, uh, hating me for for rooting him on, but yes. He just, uh, he just needs a little bit more encouragement. <laughs> okay. Um, in all seriousness, um, this is going to be a pretty tricky matchup, I feel like, uh, for Egril. Uh, Toph's team is really scary. Um, and the, the amount of potential hazards makes it really tricky because it kind of forces Egril to rely on stuff like Cryogonal. Because you have obviously Samroth's uh, signature move, you have a potential Sticky Webs lead, um, you've got uh, some really dangerous mons like um, Magneton could go Magnapul and like uh, basically trap a Steel Wochian. That's something to look out for. Um, yeah, so I look at I look at this and I I kind of get into the mind of tough luck and i can see a lot of ways to just completely um stop egro from from doing anything effectively which is pretty scary what do you see initially when you kind of look at this um so initially what i see is that Intellion kind of goes in against tof um i see hydro pump just being able to be clicked six times maybe seven uh like the resist is samurai so true i, <laughs> I that's fair um Tof doesn't really have a special wall huh or yeah or something to resist water which is not very good you're pretty correct on that i mean even even like a yeah scarf and Talion. ah just specs or even the yeah, specs and Talion. Because you'd probably get answered by like a Lycan Rock or something anyway with priority. Yeah, and um, even with that, you have switch ins to Lycan Rock. You got pa whole Palisand right there. Yeah, any any time you're able to get Inteleon in safely, it's a lot of damage coming out. That is very true. Yeah. Um, on top of that, you got a Jolteon, which all you have to do instead of clicking Volt Switch is Baton Pass into the Dawn Fan that usually will come out against it. You go back into Inteleon and you click another Hydro Pump, you get another kill. Yeah, and Toph Luck doesn't really have any reliable recovery. Um, yeah, you're, you're actually completely correct on that. I'm surprised I missed that. Yeah. Um, that being said, if I vote for Egrol again, he will probably <laughs> come and find me. That is true. So. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'll vote for top just so that Eagle can win. Yes, yes. Uh, and I will vote. Um, I'll vote a 1 0 victory. Okay. Because, I mean, to be fair. Because I, I, I do think that Toph, like the things I said about Toast Team are still completely true. Mm -hmm. Like, if you do get like a sticky webs up, it's really hard for Eagle to answer it. Yeah. Um, and you can you can pretty easily predict what Eagle is going to do from that position, and you can play around it. So there are some lines where you you don't have a chance to get Inteleon in, you know. So that's the kind of thing that I'm thinking of. Yeah, like with that, I I definitely agree. Because um, the thing is, yeah, Inteleon is amazing here, but with webs up specs like you're gonna be slower than a lot of these pokemon and you know it's it's gonna be tough um yeah. or 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 tof anyways i'm gonna go <laughs> with the uh, egro um just because you know what he didn't say anything to me did he he said it to you so it's fine there you go uh, how much are you giving uh, let's see. I did a four. I did a two. I did a six. I did a five. Hmm. What, are you trying to get all the numbers? Yeah, that's how we get bingo. Isn't that how it works? I don't know. Uh, -huh. uh I'm gonna go with a. I don't know. Let's go four. Oh. Did we lock already? I can't remember. 
Uh, you locked on the fourth one, and I locked on the seventh. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, All right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, as always, folks, good luck in your matches. Remember, final week to to make adjustments, that kind of stuff. We're coming up to the final matches before playoffs. So, um, at, especially during this time, you know, if you, if you're not having a great uh, season. Look at your differential, kind of estimate how much you're going to need to to make it to playoffs and play for differential. Even if you ne don't necessarily win, um, if you try and go for like pretty even trades and, and play in, in a way that guarantees like a 1-0 uh, loss instead of like something worse, it, it might be the difference between you making playoffs or not. So so take a look at the statistics that we have and, and try and... Um, you know, do some mental math and think think of some stuff and again try and make those final changes if you're still not comfortable with a team you know you should be, should be playing with your team for a couple weeks now so you should know hey this mod isn't performing as well as i hoped it was or this combination isn't very effective or i'm really weak against this certain type make some changes to your team for the for the final match and see you know even even if you don't make playoffs um, if you make that change and you see that success, that's that's a learning experience for going forward in, into draft for like another um, another season, you know. So it's good to experiment while you can, and don't feel like you have to stick with the same team, even if it's not going to guarantee your playoffs or anything like that. It's good to experiment and, and try and learn more about uh, what you can do. Yeah, yeah. I mean. You kind of said everything there i was gonna add something but you you said everything i was gonna say so nah it's my job now God damn all right well uh yeah guys so last week uh if you guys need help with any changes um we'll we'll be here just uh hit us up but yeah uh we will see you guys next time peace